Mm. Oh, look at that. Oh, well, don't look at that. Listen to it. Rockstar. <laughs> I swap sides with that. Taking our sweet time, aren't we? See if I can balance the camera on myself. That's a bit stupid, but whatever. This old Peter the Pounder. So the idea here is to stack up the cards in a row of three by three. So that hopefully we can make a set easier, if you know what I mean. Some of the cards have the numbers on the front, some of them on the back, depending on if they have a puzzle piece on the back or a description on the back. So we can tell this one has a puzzle piece. So all of those cards, amazingly, we're in the 30 range. So I'm going to go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. And then work through the 10s. So sort the 10s, sort the 20s, sort the 30s, bit of gum, and so on until we can then sort all the way back through to the 1 to 9, 99 I think. Yeah, this poor old card got wasted. W Stan. Here's a puzzle piece so we can keep him and potentially make a puzzle. This is 84. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Put him down there. So I'll show you that later. Here's another 80. Full brain, Bruce. Strikeout King. He's a 17, so I'll put him in there. 10, 10 tons pile. I don't know where he's going to go, really. This guy's a 16. Andy Harold. Infuriating, right? Taking the packets apart so slowly. Look at that. Oh, it's a fold. Now the fold's screwed up. Hmm. All right. idea to have uh, the gum ready the boxer puzzle piece so we can save him Holly 14 Norris the Nebula he's 13 speedy head look at that off center cut badly 42, so uh, 1 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50, so he's going to go in that pile, pretty far, I thought I said, but it's pretty far out, he's 70, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, And then nine over here. I'll show you these piles later. In case you're wondering what this fun music is, you can search it up on YouTube. Apparently, she's a uh, royalty free 
music track called Oblivion Dash Cyberpunk Slash Dark Synthwave Mix. And then royalty free, no copyright. Look at Randy the Reader. Is absolutely destroyed. And he's absolutely destroyed because he has a story on the back. Oh, well actually I can just show you this. Wham! That's what it is. Um, Benny the First Spaceman. decent packet there. This guy I've got twice now, in both times, he's been bubblegum glazed, which really is not cool. Chris the field. I wonder if that oil going to be like that. So we'll save that. Hello, Adam 26. 
Billy Big Mouth. Here's this dude again, 76 and 72. Imagine that, pulling those two packs, he'd be pretty annoyed. Hoping we can get a mint. What was his name? Evil Eye Eric in one of these packs. Just get off. the book make it he's just a wasted card unfortunately spider sam 49 uh, where's our 40s there here's the checklist that's 71 here's peter the pounder again he's 33 at the moment this is kind of annoying really isn't it because the uh poor old cards aren't quite in focus this that's waste semi springer totally wasted too get rid of that we need the first baseman 50 51 and we've got already gone look at that nasty stain down the side there that's pretty much a goner I think that card Wine brain forty three John the Jet fifty two
Heidi and Ali. Fifteen. Fourteen. You would expect to get an entire set from one of these boxes. But I'll tell you what, you probably won't. stuck in there but oh like a lee is totally wasted unfortunately because he's in 95 and we don't have him glovehead glenn 99 mighty small michael 91 brian the bat boy 87 and this is Stuart the Sealer, 58. Who's there 50? There. Well, well, well. Glove here, guy. At least we've got him. He's wasted. 46. Good our mate, Sammy. Come on, Sammy. 45. I'll be back, swing. 44. We got the wine brain, and we got this dude. Excellent. 
too big a it's 57 43 rockstar So I did manage to get these cards for quite a good price because generally cards at the moment are going out of control for some reason. Any packet of cards that you buy now, or box of cards, 54 for Steve the Switcher. Like long I am Larry too. But everything's out of control now. So expensive. The cards. The old boxes used to be yeah, you know, like maybe ten bucks or less. US or a NBA hoops. Some kind of nineties era box. Now they're up at about thirty or more. I don't know if it's because of what we're going through now as a world or what, but people are really clamoring over themselves to spend hundreds, if not thousands of dollars on trading cards. Many of the basement. So ideally, I'd love to get, oh here we go, our first card from 1 to 10 and it's bent on the side, Ned the nose. So ideally I'd like to get a, a case, that's a bucket list thing, I guess. Buy a case of cards and open them all up. See what I get. Maybe I'll do that at the end of this year. If I can. Now, Nethead Nelson is number two. And I don't have number two. And he's got a massive stain across him. Hello, Bill the Fanatic. He's number one. Out of control. Greg the Gluck. He's number 20. Um, he goes there. And Hatchet Harry is number 39. Say basketball or something, but they're like. 
like a thousand dollars a box not you know you wouldn't get anything near to a case for a thousand dollars i mean i suppose star wars is be about a couple of grand i suppose for a case who knows these days you reckon we get ray with richard he's got a little bit on him not too bad actually, 30. No, Glenn the Glob again, 29. Kid. Steve the Switcher. Is he 50? Because he's there. And Long Arm um, Larry. This one's a bow. Been pretty hardcore, this one. And we've got Phil at the back. So this might be another pack of first tens. Oh, he's not too bad, actually. Todd the Tooth. Although he's bent like crazy he's number five Sean the second sacker sorry I don't know if you even saw this guy properly there he is still can't really see him properly anyway but <laughs> he just need the nose again what's he three now we got these guys again so we got number two and we got number one so we're not doing too bad there I'm going to try and stack them up. These guys will have to be weighed down. Look at that. This gum's not so bad. Well, we'll need it. This one's going to rip. Oh well. Listen to that. You like that noise? Look at these. These cards are actually awesome. The gum's still looking fresh. And it's not stuck to the cards. Hooray. So we've got Hot Breath Henry. He's 12. Charlie the Chomper. 11. Nat the Nose. 10. Where are we going to put Nat? I think we put him in there. Pretty fat. Nine and eight, the upfielders. So it looks like these bent ones are good. But the packets are not. Well, that was just a waste. Old wax packets, eh? Back in the day. Are we going to get away with Billy the Big Mouth? Maybe. He's got a little bit of a stain on him. Not too bad. We'll give him a pass, eh? 25. Jenny the Giant. 24. Any eyeballs? Eyeballs? 23. Weird William. 27. Alert Adam. 26. Oh, am I considering your sales? Uh, yes. However, considering I'm at the bottom of the world in New Zealand um, I'm not too sure if I'll be banging these up on eBay or on our local auction site trade me this guy's got a stain on him but we'll see how many sets we can make out of this 
considering we're throwing away almost 36 cards per box. 20. Six for an ethical Wade William Wade William twenty seven twenty six But yeah my original intention was to sell and open boxes. However when I realized that one card out of every packet was basically worthless due to the gum oils, I guess, seeping into the card. Um, I guess I have to open every packet now. There's that guy again. This one's really done. Herbert the Eyes. 67. That's only a second 60 card. Is this? Yep. 66. Barry the Persuader. 65. Fingers Frankie. 69. So that was a 60s pack. Oh well. 
See you later. I've got enough of these, eh? 53. And John, that's it. Speedy, eh? Speedy. Speedy. Ed. Yeah, pretty far out. 70. the boxer. 15. David had done one at a 60. And here's old hot breath Henry again.
he's done for. Look at that. The gum took him. He's just totally wasted anyway. Well, one. Another checklist. The other box only got one checklist in the whole thing. He's 92. And we've got, what, three checklists in this box? So, oh, good grief. Wasted that one. But imagine going back in the day, being able to buy, I think, one of these boxes would have been about nine bucks. was expensive back then. Mm, maybe Nat and those could squeeze through. We've got another one of these. No, we don't. It was going to be in the first 10 bucks. Go to 12. Look at this. Harry the Hip. Is this piece number 98? enjoying this music mix. Trying to figure out a good surface for them to be on. So I can start a new box of tricks.
I think the majority were in the 50s. pieces because the front of the pick the front of the card is not great and then finally we've got garbage which is quite a few cards how many cards do we lose one three six once more maybe we can okay well, we'll show you the inside of the box nothing left pretty cool box though and I got a big poster. And I got these in a uh, case. I think it's maybe like I got a half a case or just over half a case worth. And I got an All Stars. Uh, awesome All Stars case box. was kind of cool. And those people sell all sorts of stuff these days, including empty case boxes. Well, rub the slob. I'm not sure if we can get that off, but maybe not. Check them over there. Get rid of this gum. Sharp Sean. Still got a puzzle piece, so we can save him. Robert the Rubber. Jerry Jabber Jaws. Have we seen Jerry Jabber Jaws today? Maybe not. And we definitely haven't seen Ugly Ursula today. 81. Maybe not even Slimy Sam, 77.
Oh, yep. Yeah. Puzzle piece. So I don't know what I'm going to do about the puzzle pieces. I'm contemplating either putting them together in a frame and selling them. Or maybe just selling them as a puzzle piece set. now, which is cool. Then the question is, do you make sets of puzzle piece cards? And sets of description cards like this. So there's the difference. That's basically the variant. One card you get the description of the character, and the other card you get a puzzle piece. All the ball. Oh, I've never seen this dude yet. Voodoo Vernon. What number is he? 35. Why does he feel like he's too cut? Just unusual. Scott Scooper. And our reader again. That was all 30s. And that pack basically. Sixty-five. Six. 
64. 63. Could this be 62? It is. That's insane that they do that. these packers is it yep rip that one oh badly Filled up this bag of gum. He's a puzzle piece, so he'll be okay. Junk food. 92. Where's the 90s? Over here. Somewhere. 88. 84. And 80. We've seen Prickly Paul today, though, and Prickly Paul got smashed. 74 for 
with this. Rub it. Ouch. Where's your forties? Set what's his name? And forty bob. Nineteen. Oh dear. Still haven't got any in the first. another gum bag out of this pack too, 74, and 41, 38, that's disappointing, we need some prickly pull, oh gosh, look at that, another rip, Bob and body bobs completely useless. 
So we've got our Scott Scooper. He's 34. And we've got another machine gun. We've got Shell Shot and the Rubber. Cherry Jabba Jaws. Have you got a puzzle piece? Yes, you have. Ah, uh, here we go. We got Ugly Ursula again. So that's all good. Slimy Bob and Breakout Captain. A bit of gunk on them. 17. Still don't have any cards from one to ten. I think they're am I guessing that they're the most difficult cards to get in this set? One to ten. And then this pack will be one to ten. Just to prove me wrong, but it's not seventy-six. So the bookmaker 50, Spider Sam 49, and 20. to all the old cards like this and so if you buy what like gremlins will you get oily cards from the gum i suppose that will be similar gum wouldn't they i guess you could say yes they would be all similar So if you're spending a hundred bucks on a box of Gremlins cars, come on, Benny Bots, Bolts. This is how many cards of Benny have we got that are destroyed. So I imagine a whole 60 pack. But you'll still be dealing with the same stuff with a hundred dollar box of cards. With several of them. Well, potentially one out of every single pack. Being useless like this one. Looper. He's gone. Ouch. He's gone for the ride. The last ride. Okay. 59. 58. And two bigger. Only 
Here's the call. I think we're almost three quarters through this pack uh, box. I mean, any fifty. William with the Wombat and Evil Eye Eric is out of control because we've got so many of them. gets done. Okay, we've got semi 45. 44. 43 and 42. How about that? That's what they used to do back in the day. Yeah, I think it's a bit more randomised. Mate, that's two cards. Almost three cards, it probably is three cards. In fact, I think these ones are total. Even say Larry line drives totaled. I might make it there. So we got two cards. Not cool. not looking too good. Oh, liquor. It's crazy. There's the 99. Love here, Glenn. 91. And Brian, the bat boy. Okay. 
seems like the 40s and 50s have a lot of cards. We didn't get, we didn't get a checklist this time either. So yeah, these cards are really weird. I mean, I've bought other boxes before and managed to pull out almost two sets of different kind of cards. Like uh, one example would be Judge Dread. We could almost get two full sets out of one box. This one just seems really weird in the way that they've organized the packs and the randomization within each box. Dare we do it again? You gotta be kidding me, right? Another box. So what are we averaging? It's like uh, 73 minutes a box. Daisy. Wait, oh. 
for our frames. A label. Sorry, just a stack fell on the ground. 60 stack and everyone's happy. So we're all good. Except for us. Yeah, we're happy. Here we go. 61. 60. 59, of course. And uh, 58, yeah. Yeah, as expected. Let's put these over there like that. Yeah, glob is really wasted. Break the gluck. It's got a little bit on the bottom there. But, okay, we'll try them out. Strike out King. So let me know in the comment section I've yet to get into those box break things, um, like Cards Infinity, Platinum Car Breaks, all those kind of guys. Where you jump in, purchase a spot based on numbers, letters, teams, other stuff and basically you gamble on getting a good cut out haven't quite gotten to that yet okay here we go 36 
Have we seen? Oh, yeah, we have seen Voodoo today. We should have seen everyone by now today. Broken gum. Ouch. Yeah, that went on the ground. That's great. Pretty fats was nine. Damn it. And he was already ruined. This is nine, eight, seven. No man no, no. Six and five. How badly was the fats damaged? Really significantly we'll give it a go to clean them up I think because the one to ten so almost virtually impossible to find unless this box is filled with them I ripped it so I'm trying to open the packets cleanly as well Who's the sky? Stan the second second. What number's he? Four. Damn. I'm gonna check him over that way. Three. Two. One, of course. And twenty-five. again it always ends up getting hammered and this will be 60s all the way through Save. Nah, it's 
done for the whole card. Oh well. Oh, the entire pack is wasted. How about that? Norissa Nebula. I don't know if I've seen Norissa Nebula before. But the rest of them are done for. Oh, that's bad, man. Now, I'm not sure if I've ever seen Norris the Nebula. That one's ripped too. I don't know if I've ever seen Sarah, the second sacker either. 22. Damn. Bob the Bomber. What's he? 21. Man, in these sets must be pretty hard. 19 and 18. Looper blooper guy. Wasted. Save this one. Wood six. So many forties. Be forty two. Yep. A whole pack of forties. Possibly save a ball. What is this going to be? 39? And then 38. 
1937. Yeah, why not? Saveable seven six five. Oh, we finally got Sean the second sucker. Four three. There's an entire saveable pack of low numbers. Now we're into the seven. There certainly are some rear cards, which is surprising for me. One uh, about the bomber is smashed again. Ah, finally, our friend Norris, the never 
Wanderer is meant Gosh, everything is falling into each other here. Our sticks are out of control. And that's some nice low numbered cards. So we've got quite a few low numbered cards in this box and virtually none in the other. Well, actually not virtually. None in the other. I'm not too sure about this one. Charlie the Chomper might be chomped. The nose goes there. So eight, seven and six. Eight. Oh yeah. Sorry, eight, eight and seven. I mean nine, eight, seven. now but we've got no not 80s and no 90s crazy crazy man I'm telling you this guy's wasted Amazing that we can get so many one to tens in a box. And we got none in the last one. But this one, we get no 80s, no 90s. So far, we've got three packets to go. This poor guy got 
smashed. And number one. Oh, far out. We've got Bob the Bomber. Finally, Bob the Bomber. It's 21. Okay. 46. Two packets left. of these at 92 88 84 and 80 so there we go finally got some 80s and 90s stack of 40s decent stack of 30s decent stack of 20s and a decent stack of 1 to 10s
So I guess, hello, oh, beautiful. Just a little bit to clean up here on the corner. Oh no, the gum went on the floor. Can we balance this camera better? No, great. 62, 61, 60, 59, 58, of course. Senior cards are a little bit more exciting these days. Um, how much more expensive though? 10 times? Not quite. They're getting close. Because of course you can get sketch cards and autographs. So a little bit more exciting. AT thirty five. Here's our ugly this one. And seventy seven. What card is this? Yeah, Sixty. Perfect. I've said before, this is no longer a kid's hobby, no longer a use cycling down to the store, store, I hope I said, and picking up 25 cent card packs, because it's now turned into a money making big time money making venture. This isn't small time anymore. This is big time. I mean, look at some of the boxes now. Eight grand for a box of cards because potentially you could make a hundred thousand dollars if you have the right card or more, million dollars for a baseball card. I mean, or collect the card, whatever. But there we are, there's the nose. Three, two, one. Checklist. Look at that. That's awesome. It's a good investment, I suppose. Um, if you can pull some decent cards from a, a case that you spent a couple of grand on, and you come across a card or two or three cards that are worth, you know, a few thousand each, or they're going to appreciate to that value over time. It's a good investment, but it's a massive upfront gamble. Really. So you can either buy a case of cards or one card that's worth a thousand dollars. Who's this guy? He's going to be completely stuffed. Barney the Bat Eater is on the edge of being hopeless. What number was he? 68. Mm -hmm. 69. Who's 60? Oh, I forgot. 60s and 70s are mixed up. 67. So, for example, you could buy a thousand dollar box of most 
Tuesday Oak, MBA 2020. And look for a Zion card, for instance. Or you could spend that $1,000 on a Zion card. You'd only get one card, of course. Whereas if you bought a box, you could get something else. But you're going to get your Zion for a thousand bucks. And then you're just going to have to wait to see if it was worth it. Here's our 99 card, the last card.
the check could be saved. 52. I bet you this goes 51 and 50. And then it will go 49 and 48. Of course it does. Save that one. Twenty eight. Twenty seven. Twenty six. Twenty five. Yeah, of course. this one.
disintegrated into three parts. Three parts. Four parts. Maybe. Which is good news for Winged Wayne. But he seems to be pretty decent. This is all our 80s and 70s. 50. disintegrated gum which means good news for the cards A 
absolutely destroyed. Probably beyond actually recovering for anything whatsoever. This one's ooh, probably the same, really. Stained on both sides. It's a big shame. All right. So we got 22, 88 and 84 once again.
Ну, I'm not sure if I just do one more box after this. And then do the other six boxes. I guess it will have to be tomorrow. Another destroyed card. These guys got wasted. Irrecoverable. Maybe you can squeeze through. all our cards again. Let's tidy these up once more. Feels like we've got a pretty good 60 stack. get a lot of 50s and 40s. Okay, I 
puzzle pieces. A couple. One, two, three, four, five, seven. Here's our story packs. Ripped this way through the wrapper. Oops. Nine. Maybe twenty eight. Let's try and organize these a bit.
Where am I going to put 60? Down here. 59. Yeah, 58. This guy seems to get hammered a bit these days.
Syrup of the bomber, nice mint one. Stuart the Stealer. And old what's his name? Two bag. Nice mint ones. Very good. It's just starting to mount up as well.
Sort of box of weird wheels on eBay. I think it was like three hundred dollars or two hundred ninety dollars or something, which is pretty crazy, considering the cards inside are probably the same as this. number one down the tube got a checklist so theoretically we should have some cards numbered one to ten 
in here, maybe. gets a hammering finally we get a mint fireball freddy good 90 oh but he has paused it's youtube music no, is it that's great. I don't really want to hear about that. So I'll talk right over the top. Now we're into a new playlist. This one is Neon Metropolis. I'm just going to upset all my cards now. In the video wire. Yeah. Michael the Midget again. Getting hammered. Well, that poor card's gone. Fifteen. Sixty. Twenty-eight. Twenty-seven. said before all the time 18 17 16 I hope Greg Leclerc is not going to be the one who prevents us from making a decent amount of sets of this thing Possible though, maybe.
he's gone. Yeah, the picture, we've seen a few now. 75. The 60, that was a real mixed pack, which is good, you know. Hot breath may just sneak through. 
We actually got out of 12 boxes of these things. So I'm to let you go with. Oh, well, actually, I'll just 